welcome back to the channel. Uh, in the last episode, we managed to get the EJ25 started, all buttoned back up together, looking fantastic. Um, <laughs> when I started, I realized I still hadn't bolted the uh, the downpipe on from the last time when I did the Perrin um, shifter bushings. And the reason why is because I didn't put one of these in. This is a rear shifter bushing from Perrin. And I think that's what's going to take up the rest of the slop in this shifter. Uh, it's a cart boy already, so it should be, you know, fairly precise. But uh, we're going to get after that today. And the other thing we're going to do is actually uh, do some rhino lining underneath the car because, again, this is effectively a rally car. So we want to be able to take it on the snow and on the dirt and on the ice. So. Uh, because this car is actually in really clean shape, I want to protect that underbody. Um, it is, again, Canada, so we have uh, salt on the roads and gravel, and I just want to make sure that we're doing everything we possibly can to protect this vehicle. So it may be hard to believe, but I actually read the instructions this time. And apparently the first thing you need to do is actually undo the shift bushing that we just put in and partly slide the bolt out, so, you know great. Um, so we're going to slide into the car and do that. Okay, you find us under the car and again we got to undo this guy up in here and kind of undo the work we've already done. And we're going to bolt up the cat as well. One of the other things the instruction said to do was to lube up that uh, rear shifter bushing before you try to pull this out because uh, it'll just make it a lot easier. So I'm going to spray some WD-40 up in there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is loosen the 14 millimeter bolt here. That's so all we got to do is basically give this little tug down. There's a captive nut on the other side, so should be fine. So let's drop the cat out of the way just so it's a little easier to work on this. Oops! While we hit the uh, camera. So now you can see this way better so we're just gonna loosen it up now. Got the bolt out. Now all we gotta do is <laughs> apparently give that a good tug on the back side and it should come out. Okay, as you can see, we got this loose. Um, I think I'm gonna probably use a uh, screwdriver to kind of help pry it off. And then it's really difficult with the light, of course, but the uh, shifter, front shifter bushing is completely out. The one thing they said is do not, do not uh, pull this bottom out because you gotta take apart the interior to, to figure that out. So anyways, let's keep going here. I can see the nib. It's really a pain to do without the drive shaft out. There we go. It's out. Let me get that out. If I slide it like that. Yes! We got it! Oh wow. <laughs> you can see the cracks on this thing. Okay, so the parent instructions say that we got that off now. Clean off the rod and apply grease to the rod. Okay. So it says to lube the shaft before putting this in, and then the parent logo needs to be pointing down. So the shaft's going to go through there, and then there's new bolts that'll uh, go in. So I think what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of this grease kind of on the front here. As the shaft slides on, it'll hopefully make it a little bit better. We'll see. So as you can see, this is going to be a really tight fit. The parent logo has to be down, but uh, I'll give this a shot. Okay, we got it in. <laughs> what a pain. Um, getting the bolts lined up is the, the hardest part by every stretch of the imagination. And then we got this, the, uh, the other parent tied in as well. Um, what I did was actually just drop the, um, the trans mount. So one of the other things I wanted to do is actually try to protect the bottom of the car. Now, this car is a Canadian car, so it's been in 
salt conditions for most of its life, but actually it's in really good shape underneath. Um, normally, a 15-year-old car in Canada would be basically rotten out. Just the uh, pinch welds at the bottom here seem to have any kind of rust on them, so we're going to use some rust converter on those. Just spray them, uh, let them cure overnight, and then we're going to hit them with the bed liner, rhino liner. Um, Okay, so we're just going to spray all, all we're trying to do is just get it to a paintable surface again this isn't a show car okay so it's the next day um, everything's dry what we're going to do next is actually prime the uh, the bottom of the car uh, just for some reason this uh, bed liner seems to stick better when you got primer on it so I've got the heater on it it's a little bit warmer today I mean, it's nearly Christmas here, so uh, definitely need to warm things up. So what we're going to do next is mask it and then hit it with a spray and hopefully be done. Okay, so we got some uh, Doopy Color Primer with ceramic. Ooh. All we're going to do is try and make sure that we have a good bonding surface. so good it feels so good turbo and a boost leak finally after 14 months of it on jack stands the STI is back in action so excited this thing is awesome I don't know why I have a boost leak all of a sudden on my boost gauge but I do but it's so good to get this back out um, what, what did we do? Okay, so we took the plenum off. We redid the fuel system because it was a little leaky. We put new gaskets in, new air filter from Apexi, new shifter bushings, put a shift extension on it because it's got a Cartboy shifter. We did tranny fluid. We did an oil change. We did all new um all new vacuum lines partly new vacuum lines i i'm just i'm blown away this is so incredible she pulls strong she's not smoking put the catch can on it it feels like this is proper So a little over a year ago, I was actually out here at this exact same spot taking photos of the STI at night. And about a week later, I could smell a small fuel leak, decided to take the plenum off. A year later, here we are. She's back together, she's running. I got a little few little things left to do, but it feels like such a huge amount of accomplishment to actually get this up and running, working, boosting, all that kind of stuff. I cannot wait to see what the rest of this project brings. Until then, like, subscribe, comment. Every little bit helps as usual, but as you can see, we're making progress here and we're definitely, definitely going to have one hell of a journey with this. Stay tuned. We'll see you next time.